World Bank, the IMF. I share the deep and indeed global frustration that the two-state solution seems ever more distant. The cost of the continued stalemate rises with each passing day and with each missed opportunity. This is the complex and wrenching backdrop, historic and present day, against which the Palestinians have decided to seek non-member observer state status in the General Assembly. This is a matter for United Nations member states to decide. It is important for all concerned to approach this res responsibly and constructively. I know how deep the feelings of injustice may rightfully be. But focusing exclusively on this will not close the book on an era of enmity in the Middle East. At this delicate moment, we must try to avoid bitter, self-perpetuating divisions and their accompanying calls for more and more vengeance. The horrors of the past inevitably shape who we are. But unless we are ready to tame and eventually overcome them, the future is not likely to be any different. This crisis in Gaza is a crisis rooted in occupation. Israel and its allies would contend that Gaza is no longer occupied, really. The withdrawal of soldiers and settlers in 2005 changed the nature, not the existence, of occupation. Israel still controls Gaza's airspace, coastal waters, borders, land, economy, and lives. Gaza is still occupied. The people of Gaza, the 1.6 million Palestinians, half of them children under the age of 16, live in an open-air prison. That is the reality that underlies the current crisis. When we succeed in accomplishing the objective of ending occupation and celebrating independence, there will be statues for you in our uh, town. Thank you.